session two of After Christmas. So we're saying yesterday that Jesus coming into the world changed things forever. And for followers of Jesus, there was a cost, as well as the celebration and all the blessings that we have. The first Christians, the cost was bringing people to understand that Jesus was the Messiah, the Messiah that they'd been waiting for for so long. Now, while many believed, it was a huge challenge to the established Jewish religion. Jesus hadn't come to do away with the law. In fact, he'd come to fulfill the law. But his coming meant that salvation was going to be through him and not through obedience to the law. So the early believers still worshipped in the synagogue, but they were proclaiming a different way of salvation. And so the Jewish leaders saw them as troublemakers. They wanted to suppress this new idea. And so some persecution of the first believers began. It wasn't so much an organised statewide campaign as the local synagogue leaders just trying to keep law and order. The first seemingly organised thing was Paul when he got letters from the high priest to go to Jerusalem, not Jerusalem, sorry, Damascus, so that he could arrest the Christians there and have them put in prison. He must have been fairly fearsome in his um, attack on the Christians because when he got there and Ananias was told by God to go and pray for Paul, Ananias said this, Lord, I've heard many reports about this man and all the harm he has done to your people in Jerusalem. And then, of course, when Paul began preaching in Damascus, the people themselves were amazed and they said, isn't he the man who raised havoc in Jerusalem among those who call on his name? Paul himself even talks about it in 1 Galatians, well, Galatians 1, sorry. For you have heard of my previous way of life in Judaism, how I intensely persecuted the church of God and tried to destroy it. So this zeal from Paul came from the fact that he was a highly trained Pharisee and he was just trying to defend what he thought was the truth or what he believed was the truth wasn't until he actually met Jesus for himself on the road to Damascus that he realized the truth of who Jesus was. And then of course he became an amazing evangelist and he did suffer much himself because of his preaching about Jesus. So the first persecution comes from people who believed they were defending what was right. They were trying to stop other people from being led astray. It wasn't an official thing, it was a sort of a local thing and an attempt to restore law and order. Really, it's not until the middle of the um, second century AD that uh, the Christian church sort of became quite a separate entity from the Jewish synagogue. So the first believers would have been standing up for their belief in Jesus, but standing up against their family, their friends. They were probably seen as following a new fad, probably scoffed at, certainly seen as troublemakers, and probably seen as being deluded. So it would have been very uncomfortable for them. It would have been much easier for them to renounce this new belief and just go along with what everyone else was doing. It took a real passion and a real commitment to their belief for them to stand for Jesus. It takes compassion, it takes conviction for us today to stand by our faith. Because Jesus is looked at in society by, well, a fair bit of society anyway, um, as just, well, that's a bit old fashioned, or we're looked at as being a bit weird, um, or we're fanatics or something like that. Have we got that passion that will help us to stand for Jesus in our society today?
Be my consuming desire.